the Apple device here, and today I'll be showing you how to save your SHSH blobs. What SHSH blobs is, is it gives you the ability to downgrade your iPhone to the software that you saved, the SHSH blobs that, that you saved. So you can only save the SHSH blobs for the software that Apple is letting you restore to. And you cannot transfer SHSH blobs from one iPhone, iPad, or, or iPod Touch to the other. So if you saved it, then it'll be only for that only device. So to get started, you gotta go to tinyumbrella.com. Well, not tinyumbrella.com. It's the firmware. Well, I'm not even gonna read the URL. I'll just have it in the link's description. And then once you're at this page, scroll all the way down. And right here, there's a section for download links. You want to go ahead and download the one that says Tiny Umbrella for Windows or Mac, whichever suits you better. Once you've downloaded it, I've already downloaded it, it'll be just like this. It may be in a folder, so you might have to extract it. We'll just go ahead and open it. And um, I'll try to minimize it. Or, okay. So right here, you'll be greeted to this page. So right here is all the devices that are that you've saved SHSH to, and this is the one device that's plugged in. So the device that's plugged in, you gotta first plug in the, the device, click on your, your device that's plugged in. In my case, it's the iPod Touch. And then you gotta hit Save SHSH. When you hit that, on the bottom right here, there's gonna be a loading bar. I've saved SHSH for all these softwares, and it automatically sends it to Shriek's server. So it, so then you can always downgrade and update. And you, and you do have to be on internet, on Wi-Fi or internet when saving your SHSH blobs. So I've saved it for all these softwares. So I saved it for 4.2.1 4 when Apple was signing 4.2.1. When I say signing, I mean you can down when you could have downloaded 4.2.1 and restored to it. That's when I that's when I saved that software, and I've done it for all these devices right here. And after you've saved it once, you don't gotta you don't have to plug it in anymore. You just click on the device that you want to save it, hit save, SHSH, and you don't need to plug it in anymore. Okay, so yeah, it's a short video, and then I'll be making a video for every single software that that, that comes out to save the S, how to downgrade after you've saved the SHSH blobs. You can only downgrade to the soft to the SHSH blob that you saved. So okay, this is a short tutorial just showing you how all this works. And if you when you open the software, it might tell you um, the, a security thing might pop up asking you to unblock this, or if you want to keep having this blocked, make sure you hit unblock. Okay, so rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.